Now from Times Square, T.J. Holmes and Amy Robach with Dr. Jen Ashton and what you need to know. Welcome back to Jim A3, everybody. We're back now with a single act of generosity from a total stranger. This all started with an Arkansas teenager who received a devastating cancer diagnosis. His healing journey took then a powerful turn nobody was expecting. On December 24th, 2020, so Christmas Eve, I was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. It was devastating. I was having such a, a good life, a smooth life. And, you know, hearing something like, you have cancer, it's like your life's being reset. Because of his diagnosis, Brady needed a bone marrow transplant to be cured. And unfortunately, none of his family members were a full match for him. I was in a fraternity called Kappa Sigma, um, and uh, we do a lot of philanthropy events around town. We had just finished uh, a 5K fun run supporting pediatric cancer, and Be The Match was there. All of us swabbed. It was about 10 months later, I get a phone call saying I was a partial match to a cancer patient. I did secondary testing, said I was a full match, and then I get a phone call saying, would you like to proceed? And a couple weeks later, I was off on a flight to go donate bone marrow. When I heard that I had a match, I was incredibly grateful. Somebody out there was gonna end up saving my life with their bone marrow. It's hard to wrap my mind around still. I said, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I started thinking about who the donor was, what a selfless act it was for him to do this for our child. Being able to help somebody in, in such a unique and selfless way is like, I mean, you can't say no to it. I had no reservation and no second thoughts. I went into remission was August 26, 2021. Ringing that bell was definitely one of the best days of my life. <laughs> he ended up surprising me at, at my own home. I'm just like, what? What do you say to somebody that's done something like that for you? I'm just happy to be here and be able to, you know, see Brady and, you know, see, his, see him healthy. I consider Andrew one of my children now. He's part of our family. He will always be part of our family. I can never thank him enough for saving my child's life. It's a really special bond. You can't call it a, just a brotherhood. It's just like we literally have the same blood. It's awesome. Blood brothers, right? Yeah, blood brothers. <laughs>